Hi, Ben. Hi. So today, it's just you and me here sitting talking for the children's summer, but we have lots of friends that are watching online, which is really exciting. So we're going to talk about a story that happens in the Bible where uh, Jesus uh, meets a woman at the well. Can you help me build a well out of blocks? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So Ben, if you were going to get a drink from our house, where would you get it from? Uh, the from the refrigerator. From the refrigerator, or if uh, where else might you get it from? Uh, the sink. The sink, yeah. And so, but before people had sinks in their home that just gave them water all of the time, they would go to get water from a well. And a city would only have one well, and everybody from the city would go to the well to get their water at the beginning of the day, so that they would have plenty throughout the day. And uh, one time, Jesus went to a well and he met a woman. Can I read you that story? Mm -hmm. Okay. So, tired from walking a long way, Jesus rested at a well in a place called Samaria. What was the place called? Samaria. Samaria. His disciples went to get food while he rested. The sun was high in the sky. Whew, Jesus was hot. His tongue was as dry as a wad of sheep's wool, and he was very thirsty. A Samaritan woman came to the well to get water. Will you give me a drink, Jesus asked. She gave him a puzzled look. Jesus was a Jew, and she knew that most Jews didn't like people from Samaria. Why are you asking me for a drink, she asked. If you knew who I was, Jesus answered, you would ask me for living water. Now the woman was really puzzled. Sir, she said, as she pointed to the well, this well is deep and you don't have a jar. Where will you get this living water? Jesus smiled. Everyone who drinks from this well will be thirsty again. But the water that I bring lasts forever. So, where was the woman from? Samaria. Samaria. And Samaria, people from Samaria were called Samaritans, and they were just neighbors of the people in Israel, but they didn't ever really interact with one another. So sometimes people from uh, Israel didn't, didn't, didn't interact with the people from Samaria. Uh, and so, but Jesus came to be friends with everybody, right? And so Jesus helps us to know what it is to be a good neighbor and how to love our neighbors. So even though it was really unexpected, Jesus shares a drink with this woman at this well. And so it shows us that we can be friends and be good neighbors uh, by interacting with all of our neighbors like that. And so right now, are you out of school? Yes. Are you out of school for spring break? Yes. Yeah, but you're going to be out a lot longer, right? Yeah. Well, it's... For the whole month, right? Yeah. Yeah, and so that's because uh, there are lots of people in our community that are sick, and we're trying to keep uh, more people from being sick. So one of the things that right now, how we are being good neighbors, like Jesus teaches us to be, is by staying home, by not uh, uh, going lots of places. And that is hard, because that means you don't get to go to school. And that you... means we don't go to somewhere like where we get pizza. Well, yeah, we're not... We have to order everything. We do have to order the pizza to come to our house. That's true. But it also means that we're not coming to church. But that doesn't mean that we're not gathering together in church. And so, just like Jesus was a good neighbor to the woman at the well, the way we're being good neighbors right now is by staying home and by taking care of ourselves and by checking in with our friends and our family and our neighbors by phone, right? And not being in... Uh, in, in close quarters with them. That's us being really good neighbors, which is a good thing. Ben, will you say a repeat prayer with me? Yeah. Okay. Dear God. Dear God. We love you. We love you. Thank you for loving us. Thank you for loving us. Help us to love our neighbors. Help us to love our neighbors. Very well. Very well. Amen. Amen. Thanks, Dave. So friends, in this time where everybody's out of school and I'm sure you're spending a lot more time co cooped up at home, we're going to try and so keep you supplied with good resources so that you can still uh, be talking through our stories from the Bible at home. Uh, so we're still going to send you some of our coloring pages and some family pages that you can uh, continue to engage with these stories as well as the children's bulletins that you would have if you were in worship with us so that you can um, 
color and do all sorts of things. Uh, and then we'll try and send you other things during the week that might be helpful to you as well. Good luck to you. We're praying for you. Remember to ask your kids if they have questions because they almost always do and you have wonderful answers to give them. We love you and if there's anything that we can do for you or pray for you, we want to be able to do that. So let us know how things are going. Thanks.